Wanna be free of this heart Yeah Wanna feel your arms around me I need you more Need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight Happy August 24th, also known as first day pumpkin stuff. It's back at Starbucks. So naturally had to go get it, even though I haven't had it since the day we moved in, which was over a month ago. Longest I've gone without Starbucks in a while. Um, but there's too many like good local places to try to be going to Starbucks frequently. So, but of course, pumpkin cold brew. I mean, you gotta go for that. Um, I got a venti because I need it. <laughs> and um, we are close to double or single digits till my first CPA exam. Just going to vlog a little bit over the next couple days. Um, so I'll get what I can get, but most of my days are going to be sitting at my desk, as y'all know. Um, I went by the post office this morning to check my P.O. box. Um, I am expecting something like I've been DM DMing with a girl that's sending me stuff from her business, but I'll be sure to check it again before this vlog is over so I can show y'all that, or I'll just show it in the next vlog if it's not here yet, but it was supposed to get here already, so hopefully everything's good with it. But it wasn't in there, so and nothing else was. But I um, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and go ahead and get started studying and reviewing for what I'm reviewing for right now. So let's go ahead and get to it. What are you zooming in on? I was trying to zoom in on her, but she's. <laughs> Morning routine. <laughs> Think about you every time. I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie. You never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. Think about you a lot. All right, everyone, so it's 12. I just took a 15 minute break to eat just some yogurt with granola. Um, it's sort of like an early part one of lunch. And I just wanna show you my outfit real quick because I'm about to go study in the like lounge area of our apartment just for a change of scenery. I plan on taking all of my mock exams up there just to like remove myself from my normal environment so it feels more like a legit test. I got this shirt from Full Court Houston, which is a like vintage shop. Um, and it's just like a Telluride off-white little shirt from a coffee shop from 1995, I guess. <laughs> but um, I've actually never been to Telluride, but like my old roommate in college like went every year. So I like saw the name and I was like, I recognize that. And I've never even been to Colorado, but it's cute and it's like a good off-white shirt. And I'm of course still dressing like I'm in college because I'm just trying to be comfortable for studying, you know? Like ideally I would just be like getting dressed up for the day and stuff, but I just, I can't when I'm studying and then wearing Free people, the white home shorts that kind of match the bluish purple font right there. And I'm gonna throw on my flip flops, I think. But let's pack the bag and go. I've got my computer, my charger. I'm gonna take my notebook that I've been using to work out Sims and take notes on the Sims. And I've got my reg book. Um, I'm gonna take the last bit of my coffee. I just filled up my hydro jug and I'm gonna take some note cards, some blank ones, but I'm gonna leave my already filled up out ones up here because I could just see myself dropping them and them all getting out of order or something like that. But I have so many note cards right now, y'all. This is everything from R1 to R5. So I have three more sections off, but they're a lot shorter. So I have been trying to go through these. Um, it's been more so of like every other day um, I review but sometimes I review the flashcards and sometimes I go back and like reread the text. So it just depends on the day. It's like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So Hello everyone. It's a bit later. I studied for about three ish hours in like the common space or whatever in the apartment. Um, and it was really nice. It was a good change of scenery. I finished everything that I needed to review today because I'm on, like I was doing two days per, per um, section 
but for reg but for R6 through R8 in my schedule. I'm only doing one day because they're shorter and there's not as many sims. So I've gotten everything done except for the very last module, which is for R6, which is what I had to do today. Um, and the very last module is pretty short. It only has one sim. And I only have to go over a couple multiple choice questions that I missed last time. So that's good because it's four and I'm pretty much almost done. But I'm not done for the day because since I am getting super close to the exam, I'm like really working on making sure I review a lot and just repetition is my best friend at this point with just remembering things so definitely going to be doing more studying later but i am honestly cracked out right now from my vinci cold brew i haven't had that much coffee in a long time or caffeine i guess you should say um i was like literally shaking um studying but i feel a lot better now but yeah so that's that update i came home ate really quickly I was gonna eat some um, of the corn chips and guac, but the guac was bad. It went bad way faster than I anticipated, but I guess I got it two days ago, but it was like, it looked really bad. So I was like, I'm not even gonna try. Um, so I ate half of a protein bar, Power Crunch cookies and cream from the fridge, just because it was sitting in there, and ate a little sandwich. And now I'm gonna go work out. Motivation to left in the apartment gym has been basically non-existent. I've been going to spin classes, which has been great. And it feels really good to get out of the apartment and go. And I always feel like a million bucks after I go. And studying, my days studying are so much more productive and um, just better when I work out. And I, since I have so much energy right now from the coffee and I feel like so much stress, I just need to go move my body. So I'm gonna go do a leg day, which I haven't done in like a week and a half. Um, so it's probably gonna be a little rough. Um, I just want to get back to where I was with lifting, but it's so hard with the way my life is right now. Like, I don't know what it is, but the motivation is just not there for it. So I'm trying to just like be patient with myself and on the days where I feel like I can go lift, I'm going to, and I'm pushing myself to do it, even though I would, you know, maybe rather do something else. Um, I know it's good for me and it's gonna make me feel really good. So let's go do that. Everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen Yeah You would find a new distraction I need you more Need you here More than I would like to admit Good morning everyone, it's the next day, Wednesday, and it's 9.30. Um, I just had to get some like final things done for a video going up this morning, and I had to do a few emails really quickly. I've been up since like 7, I think my alarm went off at 7.45, but I didn't get up till like 8.15. Um, we got home from Griffin's family's place pretty late, last, not late, but like 10.30, which is just like late to like be getting home, I guess. But. I was exhausted and it hit me when I was in the car on the way home. I was like, wow, I feel like I got hit by a bus. So I came home, um, we walked Ella and made my overnight oats and I went to bed because <laughs> I showered before we went, but it was good to be over there. I got like a good bit of work done while I was over there. I wasn't like studying necessarily. I was studying, but like I wasn't actively trying to like memorize anything. I was more so of like working questions and making like my master list study guides that I've been trying to make for review. So that's what I worked on last night. So I still got work done while I was there after I ate. Today we're just doing our seven. So second time going through. Um, business law is definitely something I need to get down. So I need to be like super attentive today and I need to like actually work on memorizing this stuff. Um, but there's only two sims, so that's really nice. So I'm gonna get started on that. I was hoping to get started like 30 minutes ago, but I got carried away doing emails and I didn't mean to. So let's go ahead and get going for the day. Cheers. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. Think about you a lot. Almost like I can't stop. Hey everyone, I am exhausted and I literally want to cry. It's 3.30 and I went up to, I forgot to tell y'all earlier, but I went up to the um, 
like a community like lounge area in the apartment to study and I was up there for four and a half hours so for quite a while um, and I have two more modules to do for R7 which is business law part one. I'm exhausted and just utterly like beat right now. I was hoping to get a lot more like time in today to review old stuff um, but it looks like I'm only going to be able to do probably like an hour or two of review tonight. Um, it's just really hard when I'm pretty much stuck like nine to four doing stuff and then I take like a break and eat dinner and then you know gotta take care of myself at some point. My outfit, I'm just wearing this um, Urban Outfitters Tiger t-shirt and our white way home shorts from Free People. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay It's just a phase and everything is going just great I think about you a lot it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. Just got these in the mail from Ulta. Um, I like randomly got like a $15 off 50 the other day. So I got some um, more of the COSRX Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream because I just ran out. And then I got some more bio oil because I'm going to be out soon. Hi guys, I am home from Spen. I didn't, I tried to get like a quick video clip, but like literally I always get there like five minutes before the class starts, which like sounds like a lot of time, but like to grab the shoes that I have to rent and then like put myself in a locker and then run to the bike and like get clipped in and everything. It's not a lot of time, so I'm always like in a hurry. And then they were having like some kind of cookie company was there tonight. I don't remember what it was called. Um, fudgy maybe, pudgy, I don't remember. Um, and they like uh, had gave you like little tickets to get one after class But I was like, I literally don't want to eat anything right now because it was just you know that feeling after you work out and you're just like I want to like throw up in the best way. I don't want to eat anything. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt But it was like a team teach Situation between two of the teachers. So it was like really fun high energy. The theme was guilty pleasure. So it was like um, all the songs you like hate to admit you love. So it was like a lot of like 2000 kind of pop popular songs and then like a few like hype fun like pop rap songs class went by so fast um and i was like literally dripping sweat i had to put my ha hair in a bun like mid class because like the end of my ponytail was drenched from my back sweat and i'm wearing this set active set which i know i said in my last vlog when i was wearing a set active set i think like two vlogs ago i was like oh i just ordered a new one this is the new one i ordered i think eventually i'm probably gonna get like an aritzia set that's similar from the tna line because i have a pair of tna aritzia biker shorts and they feel pretty similar to these um and they're like not the active one so i want to go with the active version and see if they compare because they're a lot cheaper than set active but this is the color I got. I thought it was going to be more pink. I don't know why, but I still love this color. And I got a different style sports bra just because I wanted something different. And I love this one, but I like the other one more just because it goes down a little bit longer. I like butt sweat like a mother trucker right now. So these aren't sweat proof. But I personally don't care if things are sweat proof because it's like, if I'm going to work out, I'm obviously going to sweat. So like, why are you acting surprised? Like I obviously look like I just worked out. So I don't really care about butt sweat and stuff like that. But Ella is looking all the sweat off of me, but it is eight o'clock and I need to finish the last two sims from my last module and then I'll be done with that review for the day. But then I want to spend like an hour, hour and a half maybe just reviewing other stuff. Um, Cause I just want to feel like ready going into my mock exam, even though my mock exam is going to be what tells me like what I need to do more of and stuff and like really drill during the last week, which I'm taking three mock exams, one Friday, one Monday, and then one Wednesday. I'm gonna shower first though, cause it feels disgusting. And I don't wanna go to bed with wet hair, so I wanna go ahead and wash my hair now, cause it needs to be washed. So let's do that. Hi guys, I am in the car at Starbucks. It's noon and it does not feel like noon, but it is noon. Um, I've been up for a bit. I've gotten like half my studying done for the day for my last section of review, which is great because I take my first mock tomorrow. Came to Starbucks because my friend Megan and I, my friend, like bestie from college, um, she lives in Seattle. 
so we like did it like obviously they're two hours behind so we um wanted to do a date to try the apple starbucks drink together i know i had pumpkin cream cold brew earlier this week but this is the iced apple crisp macchiato and i got a tall because i already had coffee this morning but if any day of this week that i needed like a second coffee it's definitely today because i woke up and i like actually felt hungover and i think it's just from my like dehydration from going to spend last night and like not drinking a ton of water after because i just don't want to pee have to get up and pee in my sleep but this i got the ice apple crisp macchiato with oat milk and it's made with like a sauce instead of a syrup so it definitely sits at the bottom but if you like do this whole number it tastes so good i've seen some people say it's bad it's definitely on the sweeter side i think next time i would definitely get it half sweet just because i'm not used to like drinking macchiato style drinks or like just having that much sweetness in my coffee um but it tastes so like this is so good it's a good change from the pumpkin cream cold brew but i still love the pumpkin cream cold brew and i can't wait to try this hot once i like want to get a hot drink out i only like drinking hot coffee in my apartment right now just because it's like unbearably hot outside but i really like this it tastes because the apple sauce is made with brown sugar syrup too i think so it's like a perfect blend of like the brown sugar and then like the little slight subtle spice from apple so it's like really good but we did a little facetime date like we planned to go at the same time because it's like obviously 10 o'clock her time and um we like literally ordered out the same time got our drinks almost at the same time and then we got in the car and facetime each other and tried it and then just chatted for a bit so i'm gonna go back home now and finish study think about you a lot it's almost like i can't stop i can't stop i can't stop Okay guys, it's currently like 4.15 and I have to go run to like a UPS customer center and it's like 20 minutes away. Gosh, I have the worst migraine today. It hurts so bad um, and it's like really prohibited my ability to like actually focus on studying for more than 30 minutes because it's like my, it'll just hurt to like read and look at a screen for that long. But I finished all of my like review, but I still, for the last section I needed to do today, but I still want to review all the stuff for the older sections and everything. So I'm definitely gonna do that. Like after I eat dinner tonight, I'm just gonna like sit down and like crank it out for like two, two and a half hours, hopefully. And then just like get to bed early. I wanna treat tonight kind of like I would if I was actually taking my exam tomorrow. So get to bed early, hopefully just like take some time to myself, um, that kind of thing. I think the hardest thing about taking like the CPA is like how isolating it can feel just because like going on social media like makes me miserable because it's like so sucky seeing <laughs> everyone else like do so much fun stuff and like get to do all these fun things and I'm like I'm literally in this state of like near constant studying for the next however many months and then right after that I hop right into the rest of my life and my career like I don't have a break so it sucks um like I have I have my whole calendar like planned out for each um exam in Becker because it like lets you do that and like my it's funny because I like literally start work January 7th and like my exam window for my last exam is like January like second to january 7th so like when i tell you i won't have a break like i literally will not have a break um and there's i don't think there's any way i can like take shorter time in between like or and there's not really a way i can like take less time between exams i think it's gives me like a week off after this first exam before i start studying for the next one but i'm probably not going to take the full week i'll probably just take like five days and then the next exams after that I get two days off before I start studying for the next one after my exam or about two days depending on when I take the exam because obviously there's exam windows but yeah it's just really isolating because you just see all these like people like doing fun stuff living their life and you get jealous <laughs> and I'm not the type to like compare or get jealous but when this is what you're doing every day it's hard not to and it's also just hard because the stress of it is like really isolating like i have been like losing my appetite i get so stressed at certain points where i just start feeling sick to my stomach so it sucks i go ahead and just pick up dinner while we're out because we actually haven't ate out in a week 
almost, I think tomorrow's a week, but I did not want to feel like cooking because I just feel unwell. But I'm going to pick up Dish Society for dinner. I've only had it for brunch, but their like dinner looks really good, so I'm excited to try it. Two hours later, back home. Thought that was going to take like way less time than it did. Um, but I got some salmon, Brussels sprouts, and then I really have been dying to try this truffle mac and cheese from there. So hopefully it's good, but super excited to eat. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Okay, so yeah, these are from my artificial garden. She sent them to me and they like have like a nice earthy floral smell to them, but it's literally so pretty for fall and it even came in this like really pretty gold ember kind of color jar, um, which I thought I was gonna have to vase them myself, but they're so pretty. I love the like black, that's like so different, but I feel like this literally embodies fall so well and it matches the aesthetic of the apartment so well. I like sent her pictures of our decor and the way our apartment looks and she like put one together based off of that, but y'all can use Abby15 at checkout for 15% off and I'll leave her site linked in the description box. These are literally so pretty and it's so nice like knowing these aren't gonna die since they're artificial, but it's like such a pretty arrangement and it, you know, just looks really good. I'm trying to keep that like, far from the candle, but um, yeah, definitely be sure to check that out. It looks so good. What we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking Hello everyone, it's Friday afternoon or evening i don't know evening ish yeah evening it's like six um i took my first mock exam today so i'm like exhausted so that's why i'm vlog today um and then this morning i planned out most of my podcast and i studied like right before i took my exam and we just got diced pokey delivered so i feel like when we eat out we pretty much just get pokey and that's like the routine um and we are gonna get seaside pokey because like one of our friend's cousins owns it, but like we couldn't like customize our own bowl on DoorDash, so um, we ended up getting a different one, different place that we've been to. But anyways, took my mock exam today. I got a 69, which obviously isn't passing. Passing is like 75, but the first exam isn't really indicative of like how the real exam is because it's evenly weighted between the topics. And then like the second and third mock exam is like weighted how the actual exam is weighted. So I'll know more so where I'm really at when I take that. And I was expecting, like, when I finished taking it, I was like, I feel like I'm, like, right out of 70. And I pretty much was. And it's, like, a very even split between um, multiple choice and simulations, which is good. I was really worried about my simulations being, like, really low. Um, but they were, like, I think my sims were, like, 68, and then my multiple choice was 70. Um, but I, like, haven't taken really much time off from studying, like, at all. So I know that that like factors into it just being burnt out and stuff. Um, and there's like this thing called like the Becker bump. If you don't know about the CPA and like you use Becker to study, um, most people say from experience that, you know, if you're scoring, especially on reg in like the 70 range, um, you'll probably like more than likely pass, but I'm obviously not gonna like count on that and rely on that. Still a lot of reviewing to do. I'm gonna go through and like write out all of the like write out the question, the correct answer, and like why it's right and stuff on everything. And I already started doing that, but I started doing it right after I finished the practice exam, which was so stupid. And then I like was sitting there, I was like, what am I doing? I need to take a break. <laughs> so um, I came back um, to the room because I took it in the, like in the, um, in a separate like office space. I eat my pokey and I'm gonna edit my YouTube video. Um, I originally was gonna have this video go up Sunday, but I'm gonna have it go up Wednesday just cause I know I'm not gonna get any other content and I'd rather just focus on studying the rest of the week. So it'll just be one video this week, unfortunately, but I also need to record my podcast. So I need to be able to do both. And the best way for me to do that without like taking too much time out of studying is just do one video this week. Um, also I changed out my nose piercing last night to, it looks really bad right now just because it was really hard to get my old ring out and I should have like, I wanted to get it done professionally, like get it removed and everything professionally. But um, a lot of places here because of COVID, like they won't let you do anything that requires you um, taking off your ma mask, which makes sense. Um, so I took it out myself and it was really hard to get out because it was like a clasp one, which I do not recommend if you get your nose pierced. Um, but this one is just like a endless hoop or whatever where you just like pull it apart to like put it in and it went in 
so easily, much easier than the last hoop went out, went in, but I put this one in and I bought this one, which I need to stop getting them off Etsy, but my problem is that when I got the first hoop, it's so thin and it's like, I can't, a lot of like the pierce, piercer places, like the size rings they have, the thickness of them is way too thick for my hole now. Cause I just have like a really thin ring as you can see. And this one's titanium. So it's not, or it's, that's what it says it is. I don't know if it actually is, but um, it's, I wish it was the gold colored, but they didn't have any that were like gold. And I'm gonna see if the titanium like makes my like scarring and like the bump like clear up because I've pretty much had a bump on it since like I put the ring in in January, except for like a week maybe. So hopefully this will make it um, better and it'll be better, but we'll see. So obviously it's not going to be right now since I just changed it, but um, yeah, I wanted gold, but hopefully the titanium, cause I think my last one, I was like allergic to it or something, but we'll see. I'm gonna eat the pokey and then edit this video and yeah. In life, call us crazy, but things are finally right.